Welcome! In this series of short videos, we will look at topics common to both the PowerBasic console and Windows compilers. Today we will look at using code templates for your applications. As you write more and more applications in either the console or the Windows compilers, you will find that for each of the applications you write, there's probably a kernel of those applications which is common to them all. So before writing any application, you will probably load up that kernel and build upon it. PowerBasic will let you support this approach by using templates. You will already have seen that when you go up to the file menu at the top and decide to create a new file, there are already some templates in that list. For example, for a console program, for a plain text file, an include file with version info, and so on. Each of these when clicked on gives you a template. Now you can add to these templates quite happily to create your own code templates. If you have a look at the help and type in templates you'll see there is a topic on just this subject. The file template is the framework for any new file which you can load quite easily into the uh, development environment by clicking on the top left hand corner to pick a new template. Now you can create templates of your own which we're going to do today. Now this approach applies to both the console and the Windows compilers. So what do we need to do to turn one of our kernel programs into a template? Right, let's have a look at this. So if we take what we have on screen at the moment as being our code template. This is a very simple program with some libraries at the beginning, the pb main function and a couple of routines being called. I generally use this to begin a new program demonstrating our snippets. So how do we turn this into a template? Well, quite simply, if we go up to the top of the screen and the very first line should either be a 1 or a 2. This is the version number of the template. All the ones we're going to be doing will be version 2. The next line is to say which compiler this applies to. Now if we say this one is particularly for PowerBasic console compiler, we would put in pbcc. Your next line is to say what kind of file you will create when you pick this template. In this case a .bas file. You can then give your template a name. Right, having done that, we will do a file, we will do a save as, and we will save this file with a slightly different extension. We will save it with the pbtpl extension. Now once that's been saved, we'll come out of PowerBasic and we will go into the location where our PowerBasic application actually sits. And if we go in here, inside the bin folder, this is where the templates need to be copied. So there is our template file. Let me just correct the extension. So there's our file code template.pbtpl. Now if we just move that file into our PowerBasic folder, we'll see that it pops to the top. Code template. Now if we run PowerBasic now, and at the top left hand corner where our templates exist, our demo code template is now on the list. So when we click on it, we get the demo code one coming up. It's a very quick way of actually getting your common libraries and all the kernel code you want to create your new application. This approach can be used either for a single developer or for a team of developers especially where you want to impose a coding standard. Now, as I said, this approach can be taken both for the console compiler and for the Windows compiler. You can create a template that can be used for both. One of the options in our template is to have a template type which is common to both the Windows and the console compilers. 
So in our previous one, we created it with pbcc. Now, if we created it with ccwin, then the template itself could be used by both compiler types. You would have to copy the template file into the bin folder of the console compiler and the bin folder of the Windows compiler because they will be in separate locations. However, you can actually conditionally set each line. So what we do after that is you can name them differently. You could have pbcc as the name on the console compiler and new demo template in the Windows compiler. The same applies for every line after that. If there was some function you did not want to actually use in the console compiler, then preceding it with pbwin would mean it would only be used in the pbwin compiler. And that really is all there is to it. Creating your own templates is very straightforward. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.